Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. And today, I am playing a brand new game called Portal Revolution. Now, this is a community-made mod for Portal 2. Now, it's completely free to get on Steam, so if you want it, I'll have a link in the description to where you can find this mod. Now, apparently, this is a brand new story, and it also has brand new original characters. And there's apparently over eight hours of gameplay and 40 brand new challenges. It also comes with some new gameplay mechanics as well. So I'm definitely excited to see uh, what all of those are. But before I jump into the game here, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I post brand new videos. Also, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me continue making more videos on this game, and I will definitely continue all the way to the end. Today, we're just doing a, uh, a first look just to kind of see what it's like. So let's go ahead and hit the new game here and see what this brand new mod is like. All right, so it looks like we've got eight brand new chapters here. The first one is apparently the human resource. So that's going to be the first one I'm going to play. Morning, test subject. You have been in suspension for 72 days. The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. I, um, where is it? Is this the monitor? I don't know where the monitor's at. To be accepted oh, into the human emergency is this response it? team, you will now participate in an advanced difficulty testing track where your problem solving skills, athleticism, and response to increasingly hazardous conditions will be evaluated. I Please press the button to accept the terms. I didn't even get to see them, they went too fast. Um I sure we'll go Thank and sign our life away. The door will open in three, two, one. I here we go. Ah, here we go. This looks uh, familiar. Here's the uh, the elevator that takes us to all the different levels. You will now participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. Um, well, I think my uh, brain should be functioning, Very so we'll go ahead and do that. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. Cool. I. Let's go ahead and uh, figure out our first puzzle here, which uh, looks like we're gonna need a box, which is right here. So I go ahead and pick this up, put it on the button, and there we go. Now this next test is uh, a little bit more complicated. We got two buttons now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the box over on this one. That should open up this area. And then I'm hoping this will get us another box somewhere. Oh. Okay, it worked. I, I guess it just destroyed that one, which spawned over there. Uh, I did realize we've got a camera that's watching us. So someone's making sure we're doing what Please we're supposed to. That noticeable damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but it's an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light sensing rods and cones inside your head. Oh, that's nice. All right, so here comes the portal gun. I'll get out of the way so it doesn't, like, destroy me or anything. Uh, now we're over on this side, which uh, doesn't really help me too much. I need to get down there so I can actually grab the portal gun. Let's grab this. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. As a candidate for the human emergency response team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations and as such will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. Oh, so I won't be informed about what this thing could do to me. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I guess we'll just keep on going then. Uh, this is only like the single portal gun, so it only does blue portals. Eventually, I should be able to get the dual one. But that's probably in a later level. All right, so our next puzzle here, I gotta figure out how to get this box over on this side. But uh, if you go through that, it destroys it. 
So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to somehow get this box up here and then put a portal on the other side of this barrier and then I can bring the box through here. So that is, I think we're on level two. I forgot to check the number at the beginning. Oh, how am I supposed to get up there? Uh, is there a portal? No, not really. Oh, this just lifts you up. Okay. There's really no puzzle there. All right, now we're on level three. Camera's still up there. All right, so this button gets rid of that. So I can actually put portals on the other side. I can knock the camera off. So that way they can't see what I'm doing. Uh, let's actually grab the camera. Can this uh, activate the button? Nope. All right, so here's the box. Go ahead and put that on there. And, and stop. Congratulations, test subject number one. You have set the world record for this exercise and now officially hold first and last place on the leaderboard. I so I've uh, apparently done good at completing that task. I'm apparently first. I so here is a uh, level four here and it looks like we've got lasers that we got to watch out for. So this will be interesting to see. Uh, guessing that's the laser. Concentrated amounts of electromagnetic radiation that may be harmful to the retinas of some humans. The Enrichment Center recommends to solve this test with closed eyes, as health insurance will not be provided for this specific exercise. In case the light sensing rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill, feel free to ignore the prior warning. Okay. Well, uh, apparently we have to do this with our eyes closed. Uh, this is the, uh, the cube that we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And, uh, what these do is they can actually redirect the, uh, laser. So this laser here, if you put the box, it will actually move it. Wait, why does this go red? What does red mean? Oh! Okay! Um, that's what that does. Let's not touch that. Let's put the, uh, the laser over here. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, activate that. What does that even do? Oh, it opens the door. Cool. So now I have to go through here. But if I do that, it's going to get rid of my portal. Uh, let's see. There's got to be a different way of doing this. I have a feeling it has something to do with this thing. Alright, so I think I figured it out. So if I put the uh, portal over there, I can send this laser through, uh, which then allows me to go to the other side if I jump over the laser. So now we can head out of here. And it looks like we're in- Completed the test. If you have not done so already, you are permitted to open your eyes. I apparently am allowed to open my eyes now, which is great. Uh, I had my eyes open the whole time. So hopefully that was not an issue. Uh, what do we got here? Is this the next level? Oh, we've got an elevator over here. Perfect. Let's see what the next test is. All right, so here I am in the uh, next level here. And uh, as you move up, the levels do get more complicated. So we've got uh, harder puzzles each time. This one looks like we've got a button here. Oh, hello. That was close. I didn't realize the box was right there. Uh, let's see where I can put this. Alright, so for this puzzle, I need to figure out some way of getting the box over there. Because this button is what opens up the door. Uh, so I need to get this box to move. Alright, so I think I figured out this puzzle. All I have to do is press this button. And it should get me a new box. And then I can take this box... Go through this portal and put it on the button. So there we go. That is the puzzle solved. So the next one here, we've got apparently the lasers again. So I'll go ahead and grab this. Uh, the only issue is I need to deactivate this barrier so I can get over here. So I'm assuming that's why they have this box. So this box is going to allow me to push this button. Oh, it is pushing it. Cool. Alright, I'll go ahead and leave that there. And then I can use this box to activate the door. You gonna work? It's uh, kind of like right on the edge there, but it's working. 
Let's see, we got level six. What are the hazards for this one? We've got falling boxes, lasers, and I think that's electrocution, maybe water. It might be drowning. I don't know what that one is. I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, it's drowning. Well done, candidate. You have successfully solved five test chambers. To ensure a high quality of human resources, the following test chambers may include elements of danger. Extra caution is advised. Good luck. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, where does this box come out at? Oh, well, box just uh, fell in the uh, water down there. Oh, all right. I didn't realize it was gonna keep firing him. All right, let's go and put this on there. And now we're done. This camera's still watching us. Can I, like, grab it? Nope. Can't grab it. I guess it's just gonna stay there then. So, for this one, I need to get the, uh, the mirror box. But I need to put a portal down somewhere. And the only place I can really do that is there. Okay, that gets rid of the door. But I need a box to put it on. Uh, this, I think, gets me a box. Okay, there we go. So... That gets me a box, but I can't really get the box unless I uh, shoot it over here. There we go. So now what I should be able to do is I should be able to get the uh, the mirror box to uh, come over here. I just have to put the portal down like that. And now I can redirect the laser. So the laser is going to spawn here. And I need it to go over there. If I just put the box there, that should redirect it. Yeah, there we go. So, let's go ahead and grab this box. Because I don't think I need this. Oh, no. Uh, we're going to need a different way of doing this. Let's put this box on the button. Because I'm going to need uh, this box to go over there. Now I can move this box back over here. Which should open up the door. There we go. Puzzle has been solved. As a consequence of semi-recent events, some aerial faith plates could be misconfigured and launch objects into arbitrary directions. Be careful. Alright, so this is where we get to uh, use the uh, the face plates, which apparently launch you. There is a button here which does uh, put a box down. I think I just dropped it in the water. So I have to like hit that, run over here. Oh, what? Well, that's oh. definitely wrong. Give me a second. Uh, that's what he was talking about. There. Try that. Alright. Try it now. Perfect. Good. That faith plate is now properly calibrated. Is this one gonna be properly calibrated? I hope so. Uh, what does this button do? Alright, so that opens up those so I can put a portal down so the box is gonna come out of there so I'm gonna have to figure out some way of grabbing that box yeah because it's gonna fall way faster than I can get over here oh I can't put a portal there though all right so now I should be able to get the box uh, once it falls through here I need to launch myself grab this and now I should be able to get up to the upper level. Yes. Wait, what's this thing? Apparently, I need to find some way of activating it so I can get that door open. There is a button here, which uh, I'm guessing is going to put a box down. Oh, it's a ball. Okay, so I need to somehow get the, uh, the ball over here. So I should be able to just put a portal and it'll launch in here. All right, it almost rolled out. So I think this is a new thing that's added. I don't think we had this in the uh, well regular game. From now on, all aerial faith plates should be configured correctly. I promise. Well, they better be configured correctly, because I don't want to smash into another window. Well done, candidate. You are nearing the final test chamber. Solving this last chamber and completing the testing track will grant you membership into the Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. Alright, so we're getting close to the end. I'm guessing there's 10 in total. Oh, wait, no, there's 9. It says it right there. We got 8 of 9. Uh, this one, all we've got is apparently boxes and lasers. So nothing too scary. 
Uh, let's see what we need to do here. So I need to somehow get this laser over there. Which needs a box. I don't know where the box is at. Uh, this might give me the box. Let's see. Yeah, this is the box. So let's go ahead and uh, activate this. Which apparently moves that lift up. Let's go back down. Nope, doesn't seem to be going down. So I'm going to have to somehow activate this and then run over there. Alright, so I think I figured out how to get the lift to work. So what I could do is I could actually put the box over here and activate it with my portal. So if I go on the lift and then put the portal down there, I can actually go up and grab this box. Now we do have another area here that I'm going to have to activate, which I should be able to do that uh, with that box. If I put it back over here, I can activate it there. Uh, I do actually need to get uh, this box over there. So if I got in... Oh, what? Oh, that's interesting. I just realized the laser doesn't actually hurt you. In the, uh, the regular game, usually they will uh, zap you if you touch them. But apparently they don't do that in this one. Alright, so I figured out how to get the, uh, the laser up here. So all you have to do is you can put a portal back here. And then if you push this button, it'll actually bring the box right back over here. So now all I have to do is I have to put this right there, and that will activate the other half of the door. Which now, lets me go through. So we're on to the uh, final level, I think. Alright, let's figure out how this works. So, that will put a bridge, I think it's over there. Oh, it's right there. Alright, so... That helps me get across there. This laser... Oh, is that turning this on? Uh, I kind of need to turn that off so I can get through. Because if I go through there, it's going to get rid of the bridge. This I can turn off. But I still don't have a box for it. It looks like the box is over here. So if I go ahead and grab this box... I need to now figure out how to get on the other side with the portal. The good thing is, I can just put this down, grab the box through there, and now turn that off. Uh, I kind of need to turn this one off. So, let's go up there. Alright, so what I can do is I can put this box down here to block the laser, which will open this up. So now, I can cross this bridge without any issues. Uh, what does this button do? Oh, it opens up the door. So I'm gonna need to get a box for that. Which it looks like we've got a, uh, a launcher here. So now that I'm able to get up on here, what I should be able to do is grab this box back. And then I can move it to the other side of the, uh, the barrier. And now, I can deactivate it. And I should be able to get the, uh, the bridge. So if I come back over here, I can put the bridge down. And now I can walk across. And because the box is already on this side, all I have to do is launch back up there and grab it. So the bridge is going to stay there. And now I can use the box to open up this door. So that, I think, is the final level. Oh, there's apparently more. We're not done yet. Alright, let's, uh, jump across here. Oh, what? Um... Congratulations! Okay. I'm sorry for the surprise. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, faked. I'll be honest with you now. There is no Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. I made it up. Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down after all. The Guardian and Intrusion system doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. Okay. So this is apparently the, uh, the twist. I was wondering what was going to happen. Because in all the other Portal games, it always starts out as just regular testing. And then there's some sort of a twist that happens. 
Now, there is a, uh, a door here. Does this work? Uh, does it? It makes a noise, but I don't think it works. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can go in there. So, let's go... Nope, doesn't want me to go through there either. Alright, let's go through, uh, this door. Which is the one they want me to go through. Um, I'll go ahead and push this button. And that activates the timer. What is the timer even for? Oh, it's for that. Alright, so apparently I need to stand in that scanner. So I need to activate this. And then run over here. Before this goes. Alright, so scan me. Good idea. I think that did the trick. Good. I can now register you as our new janitor. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. I'm the facilities manager and your new supervisor. Cool. So now I should be able to get through okay, all these doors. No time to lose. Right this way. Um, he wants me to go that way. I'm going this way. I want to explore. What do you not want me to know about in here? Well done. Not everyone gets this position, you know? You should be proud. Alright, so I think I get to finally go in here. Yeah, there we go. So this All gets right, activated. Up we go. Alright, we're going up. Alright, so this is apparently the beginning of chapter two. So I think I'm going to uh, end off the uh, first episode here. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you uh, like this series and want to see me continue. Uh, in the next episode, I will continue my adventure through this brand new uh, portal game. Now, if you like this uh, video, uh, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and bell icon so you can be notified whenever I post brand new videos. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.